Hey, it's Joe Glines, and in these videos here, we're going to be talking about how to interact with controls on um, Windows programs. Uh, there's a, a lot of older controls which are built in, like kind of like here in, in Notepad here, we can see this this um, edit box here, um, and this is the built-in active window tool, a use by type thing you can use, and notice it's going to be right in this area right here. When I'm on under this, see it says class NN, and then a space edit two. So the edit two is the instance of the class um, edit, and that's the one to connect to this specific controller. If we go to this one, it's probably edit three. Yeah, so see it updating here? It's right in here. I can freeze Windows A, let me, let me freeze it. So it's, it's right here. Um, notice here it does say control under mouse position, um, but again, to me, it was always really weird that it the control actually is a, is a class and it's an instance of a class. So that's how I think of it. Um, but I just call them control. So uh, in the tool that Maestrith and I built, which um, we'll have the very next video here in the series, is going to walk through how, how to use, how the simple spy tool we wrote works. But you can drag it in here and you'll see, like when we're on it, look, I've called it class. I'm sorry, control. So it's not so confusing unless I misspeak. Uh, but here's it's edit two. This is what you'll be connecting to. This is what you'll use as your target, right? For either getting or setting text or you know changing it or whatever. Uh, but these are the older type um, menus available. They're not the ribbon, the newer stuff in Windows. So things like um, Excel and Office, the newer versions of PowerPoint and things, the ribbons. It you know there's actually some of the edit boxes you can connect to, but most of the stuff it's it uses a different infrastructure and you can't use these. However, there's still a ton of programs out there that have this type of infrastructure. So I wanted to create the um, this series of videos because one was just the whole thing about connect to the control and sending things to the control, and yet the control is really a class. That always really confused me. So I wanted to make sure we get that clear. Um, and then the other one is just the great thing about connecting to controls and setting controls and stuff is more often than not, it doesn't interrupt the human doing stuff with the computer. So I can be typing the keyboard. The window doesn't have to be active. It can be in the background. It can be whatever. And you can just send and stuff and get interact with it. So there, it's a great way that AutoHotKey has to connect to other Windows programs. Um, if it's a, a some, generally speaking, a somewhat older program, there's still a lot of newer programs. Like I use GrepWin. Um, and it, it still has all this functionality. I use another one called file search. I, um, my calculator, the calculator I use happens to have the old controls. Um, th there's just different programs that, that, um, haven't swapped over. Um, I kind of like the simplicity of them. They're really easy. And actually even inside a lot of the other programs like notepad and WordPad and stuff, they still have some of these older ones. A lot of the built-in windows tools, um, like device manager and things like that are built still using the older infrastructure. And so it's, again, it's a great way you can connect to programs. So I hope you enjoy the series. And um, if you have questions, let me know and make sure you like the videos. So I make sure I know what I'm doing and do more of them. Thanks.